promise to trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thine own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him, and he shall direct my path. That's my thought for today. That wasn't my message that I did. But since we came here in the light world, <laughs> I'm going to trust in the Lord yes. with all my heart. I decided a long time ago that I could put my trust in the Lord because he's trustworthy. Yes. He did not fail me yet. Yes. It doesn't matter what we're going through in this life. We have to know that we've got someone there who's on our side that we can depend on. And I don't even need to depend on him. He's someone that can do something about the situations in which we're dealing. Anybody been in some situation that you didn't have any clue, any idea on, any inkling on how are you going to get out of that situation? Anybody ever been there beside you? And then some way, somehow, you don't even know when and you don't know how, but some way, somehow, you look back and you found yourself out of that situation and all you could do was say, thank you, Jesus. Situation is, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Sooner or later, you will be able to look back and say, Thank you, Jesus. I don't know how you did it. I don't know when you did it. I know you did it. I'm going to trust him. I stand here today, trusting him on the behalf of my sister. Yes. I'm going to trust him. Yes. 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 I was scheduled to do the service for Sister Brenda Major's husband on yesterday for his homegoing service. And my sister had to have the emergency surgery yesterday. And the visiting time, the only visiting time that they gave us was 1.30. And the funeral service was scheduled at 1. And I was asked, well, what are you going to do? I said, I'm committed to do that service for the funeral. And I'm leaving my sister in the Lord's hands. So I had to come and do the service. Because that was my commitment. And I trust the Lord to take care of her. The doctors told us the first 48 hours are the most critical times because it's a serious job, serious condition. But she's in God's hand. I said, Lord, it will be your will. Heal her body. It will be your will. And I just left him alone. I'm leaving him alone. And I'm thanking him for his will. Because his will must be done on earth. So what I'm saying to you today is for you, each of you, to learn how to trust the Lord.
I've had some good days, yes. and I've had some weary days. Yes. I've had some hills to come. Yes. But I want you to know on today that God is still in charge. Yes. Yes. God is the light of my salvation. Yes. God is hope in the times of trouble. God is a, a good God. God is a, a prayer answering God. And you know, even though we got in here a, a little late and, and no lights were on, but we know, or I know, because I got in here before Brother Bowen, I didn't question anything. I just said, God is with us. Yes. God is with us. And finally, I just asked Sister Thornita what, what went on, and she said the lights were out in the community. But Jesus is the light. Yes. Jesus is the light, not just here on Phillips Street, not just here across the street. But I want you to know that I believe that Jesus yes. is the light of the world. Yes. Jesus is the light of the world. When, when we sleep at night and, and we get up, I don't know about you, but I, I don't turn on the light if I have to get up in the middle of the night. I, I go to the restroom or wherever I go. I believe Jesus is carrying me yeah. through the dark yeah. and, and, and making a way out of nowhere yes. for us. So I, I just want to tell you all to be encouraged. Be encouraged. I've seen miracles after miracles. I have witnessed the love of Christ. I have seen God move in miraculous ways. And you don't always have to tell it. You can just bless it and keep on blessing it. And just wait. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And then take it one day at a time. And I guarantee you, you will see the goodness of the Lord. Even to the blind man, he manages to get around. In the light or daylight, it might be dark to him. At night, it's dark to him. But there is a light in the blind man's life that God will carry him through dark places. And God will do great things. God will do great things. For he is a, a great God. A great is his faithfulness. Morning by morning, who mercies we see. Yeah. I just thank God. And I praise him. Glorify him. And I ask that you just be encouraged and wait on the Lord. Yeah. God bless you, church. Yeah. Lean not to thy own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. When we trust God, even when we feel like we can't see him, God, and acknowledge him in all our ways, he will direct our path. Um, this week, I just come to encourage the body of Christ. I had to trust God in an area where I didn't know what I needed to do. But I acknowledge him and say, God, whatever your will is, whatever you want to have done, you do it. And I trust you and I take you at your word. And because I take you at your word, I said, while I wait, I will praise you and I'll give you glory. I can't see how this thing is going to work out. But I know you are God and you are God alone. And because you're God alone, I commit this to your hands. And you're able to keep it. So all this week, I begin, I got in my car and my car wasn't working. Things was going on with my car. I said, I'm not worried about it, God, because it's in your hands. I got work to do. I cannot allow this distraction to distract me from your purpose. I'm acknowledging you, I'm trusting you, I'm taking you at your word. And even in the midst of this, there was a lady that came into the office. She was going through some things. If I put my mind on my heart, I wouldn't be able to hear God to embrace this woman and give her comfort and words. So I had to trust him, take him at his word, and acknowledge him. And while I was about my father's business, and my car was at the dealership, God had people speaking up on the behalf of me. And all I can say is this thing. I have a 2022, and I give God glory for it. 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 I give God glory for
wake up yeah. every day again. Yeah. I'm like, Lord, let you say something. I don't even know how to be on time because I did everything to be on time. I got here, thank God everyone was praying. I came and I just wept and wept and prayed. Jesus. God, you know, and I was encouraged not because I was thing was so low, because I made that vow to God. Uh -huh. I won't be in that low place again. Right. But as I begin to pray, I'm in love this week, and I couldn't even get word of God. Give me strength. God, give me strength. And since I tell you last night, I had the peace of God. <laughs> Up at night, can't sleep. Last night I was looking for two o'clock in the morning, just smiling. Happy. Yeah. Only the strength of God. between you and the Lord. Amen. And you don't have to be a minister to have a strong relationship yeah. with the Lord. So we're going to give a few minutes for any of the members that want to just give a word of encouragement. Stand up and just encourage the church, encourage yourself. If you're any member of the Praise the Lord. 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 I want to stand and encourage the church today. Tell you that God has got us right where He wants. Yes. I'm kind of saying, watch the handwriting on the wall. Pay attention to what's going on. I keep saying, church is not going to be Asian. So we're going to have to accept. What's going on when we come in the house of God? Yes. Come in ready, hallelujah, yes. and prepare, hallelujah, yes. to do what thus said the Lord. Yes. I don't care if the Lord tells you to come and tell somebody something, you better do it. Yes. Because when you get home, you're going to pay for it. Yes. I am mean, going to talk about when I'm doing obedience. Yes. God will whip you. Yes. Yes. And the worst people you're going to get is from God. Yes, Lord. You may go to whip for your mother and your father, but when God whip you, glory, glory be to God. That's the word. Yes. So y'all sit there saying, oh, like you said, uh, the medicine may wait for other people. Y'all sit back saying, I am a minister, and I say it too. I, and I'm not going to get up and say nothing. Stop holding that stuff. If God told you to say something, you better say it. Everybody in here need a word of encouragement. Everybody in here needs somebody to come to them and go and go to say anything when I love you. Stop praying for you. Stop sitting on it. Taking it home. What good is it to you? If God gives it to you, put it out there. I used to do the same thing. I used to say, I don't want to hear Sister Jenkins, but you know I got to the point I don't care. <laughs> And the Lord tell me say something, I'm going to say it. Whether you like it or not, I'm pleasing God. So y'all stop. Stop looking at yourself. Stop beating yourself up. I tell my husband all the time, you sitting on stuff, buddy. You sit on I ain't sitting on mine. He sits on it. Y'all stop it. We need each other. Come on. Somebody, everybody here got some, even a little child. You'd be surprised what Xavier and some of the little kids in here can come to you and say. So come on. 
good. Yes. If the Lord give it to you, please get up and say it. You don't know what I need. You don't know what the like praise team need. And I'm not a Facebook fan. I put my message, I'm a behind the scenes. When the Lord tell me, tell people, I text them. I, I don't put nothing on Facebook. What I do, I text them. If the Lord tell me to say something, I say it. Because the Lord is doing things unusual. Beware. Pay attention. You miss it out. You, may, you don't have to be a prophetess. You don't have to be a minister. You don't have to be a pastor or preacher or evangelist. Just do what thus said the Lord. Be ready. Because he may use a dog. A dog may right, right, walk, walk by you walk and drop a note right by your, right by your feet and it could be a lesson for you. I'm telling you, wash the hand right on the wall. Pray for each other. Keep yourself open. Trust yes. in the Lord. He wants to use us. This is all he got. This is all God got is us. And we want to be used. When you tell the Lord you want to be used, I tell the Lord, Lord, I want to be used. Do y'all really want to be used? Yes. Tell the Lord. Live right. He'll use you. Yes, he Just live right. Just be a willing vessel. Watch the handwriting on the wall. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Thank you. I want to rise and give honor to God. Rumpy and I haven't been in church in a while. We've been going through a lot. Family. Everything is just a long haul. I still home because that don't work. Seems like my body gets afflicted more than ever, but I had stress on it. So I was scheduled to have surgery because I have a bone in my big toe that is bone on bone. For me to be so young, I have rheumatoid arthritis, and my big toe is bone on bone. The doctor said the only thing they can do is to take the bone out. I was scheduled to have surgery on the 6th of January. Because if you notice, I can come in church, I haven't been wearing shoes. I've been wearing maybe one shoe this way, one the other, because I couldn't put those four on my foot. So when I went up to Baltimore, he said, you gotta have surgery. But God blocked it. Because he knows that if I just trust God with my body, my whole body, Give my body over and rebuke all of the illnesses and everything that's come out of me. I can tell you, this is the best that my toe has ever felt. I've been off of it. I've been at home. I've been laying. Only go when I have to go to the doctors or something. But today, I am in here with no pain. Wow. And it wasn't that I was either staying home from church for, for any, any other reason than because we lost trust. And I'm, very, I'm the very one that tells us to trust God, have faith, believe. But then I was willing myself not to have that faith. And I said, I'm going to make you so you don't. So he just stagnated me at home, did some works overnight. So I try when he works the weekend not to come on Sundays because he sleeps. But I said, you know, Lord, I can't sit there and wait because he has to go to sleep. So he worked last night. This why I said, man, I was up. We're going to church. We have set up too many Sundays. God has been too good for us. Yes, yes. not to praise him. Right? Yes. 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 Continue to pray for me. I tell you, there's one person in here who can give her the utmost. I love her life because without her prayers and her encouragement, I'm a close person. I don't talk much, but this one person, she has really been there for me. Spiritually, she's been my God when I don't know how to talk to God. She prays for me when I don't know how to pray for myself. Mm. If I'm not around, she don't see me. What's going on? How you feeling? I thank God for her every day. Ever since I walked the mountain in new life, I didn't think she would just 
see me, but I was wrong. Because God, she has a genuine heart. And she truly loves me, and I thank God for her every day. God bless, God bless. So, Sister Jenkins, I'm going to give you flowers while you're living. I thank you. I thank you.
Y'all sing something. <laughs> 